Hey guys, welcome back to a pre-algebra video with the True Falbra. Today, we are going to be solving for variables on one side. Now, what do we want to do when we're looking to find a variable on one side? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to isolate the variable. In this case, for all of these equations, our variable will be x. So what do we want to do to find x? Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is to take this number right here, since it's not a variable, and put it on the other side so you only have your x value. So what you're going to do, since you're, it's getting added, you want to subtract 2, since it's positive 2, and then you're going to get 6x equals minus 2 from this side, because if you're subtracting a value, you have to do it on both sides. So 20 minus 2 will equal 18. So the thing you're going to do next is divide both sides by 6. Since you see here, it says 6x. So you're going to just try to find 1x instead of 6x. And this is how you find 1x. So 6x divided by 6. That'll equal x equals 18 divided by 6. That equals 3. So x equals 3. So for our next value, we have 4 plus 3x equals 19. Now let's do the same thing we've done on all the other equations. So 4 is our non-variable number. So we're going to subtract that both sides. And we get 3x equals 19 minus 4 is going to equal 15. So, I hope you know what we're going to do next. Yep, we are going to divide both sides by 3. So, x equals 5. So... Now we've come into a challenge. What happens when a number is being subtracted? Well, we do exactly the same thing. We're trying. We're still trying to find what x is. Now all we have to do, instead of subtracting, is going to be adding, since it's a negative number. So we're gonna add three to both sides, and we're gonna get seven x equals forty. So, all we have to do now is divide both sides by 7. And that means x is equal to 6. Now, for our final one, seven, we have 70 18 x plus 2 equals 36. Now, all I have to do is subtract 2 from both sides. Then you're going to get 17 x equals 30. Now, all you have to do is divide both sides by 17, and you get x is equal to 2. Well, I hope this helped you see you out, and if you're going on to more advanced stuff, then I suggest you watch my part 2, which will come out at the same time. Thank you!